Hey boys, welcome back to some more Spin Bowling Cream Mode. It is going to be the start of our, or the tour of, well, the South African tour of Australia. I was, I was getting mixed up there because obviously at the moment, Australia is touring South Africa, but uh, it's going to be the other way around in this one. As we look at their side, it looks pretty good. Well, not really. There's a lot of, there's a lot of plays missing. The batting looks um, fairly proper, but the bowling, I don't know. A couple of those names looks like they're just the wrong names, but they're the <clears throat> the correct player, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, no, not the um, <clears throat> the totally correct team, but uh, still better better than the West Indian side anyway. They do have a, still a, a strong batting lineup, so that's uh, that's good. And we're gonna have a, a bat first. We're playing it's uh, Monica Oval, and I'm I'm actually making this video after the. Uh, the controversy, uh, the controversy that surrounded Australian cricket this morning with uh, the cheating that's going on. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna talk about that in this video because I'll, <clears throat> I, I just actually made a video discussing that, so that video will get uploaded, um, well before this one anyway. I probably when this one gets uploaded, it's gonna be a fair bit after that incident. That'll give you guys a bit of a, a timeline as to how long I sort of, um record videos for like in advance I guess um because I obviously record in like bulk but uh yeah that, that's uh that's the news today so <laughs> we're not gonna like I said not gonna talk about that I'm gonna focus on the game as that is a uh a fantastic shot Rabada coming in <clears throat> and uh, my throat is still god it feels like I don't know my throat is still like somewhat annoying me it just uh it just won't fully, it won't fully clear up, but, uh, it, it's not as bad as it was, obviously. It's still, uh, still a little annoying. Sometimes it just, uh, just blocks up, which, uh, is not, is not good for the, for the commentary here. As uh, that's, a it's another good shot. Rabada, he's obviously their, their superstar quick. Uh, he's going for a few runs. One for 49. As, uh, Marcus Harris again in the runs. I <laughs> He's, he's the one strange pick in this uh, Australian team. I think the other one, I guess, Matthew Wade. And, um, yeah, Matthew Wade is there as well as, I think, Peter Hanscom. But Peter Hanscom is the, the keeper for some reason, which is weird. But, yeah, that, that's the only other strange one. So the only, the only players missing, I think, is uh, Sean Marsh and Tim Payne from the actual actual team. As that is a belting hit look at that that is monster that's gone over the side screen 122 meters that's uh i think that's our biggest hit in this career mode i know with chris lynn i hit one 138 meters which i i don't think i'll ever top that that is actually ridiculous 138 meters but uh that's 122 meters over the side screen that is just pure timing and and power what a shot. It, uh, it felt good to hit that one right out of the screws. And we move on to 23 of 14 now. So it's it's a good it's a good start to this innings. Obviously, myself and Harris, uh, a good little partnership. And, uh, I mean, it's a good platform. Four for, you know, 200. It's, it's a good time to come in. I mean, it, you know, you want your top order to do as well as possible. Um, but as a middle order batsman, you do want to get... You do want to get into bat. You don't want your, your your batters to get out. But you know, if they set you up with a with a good total and then depart with the, when the ball's a bit older, um, you know, around 40, 50 overs, it's a pretty good time to to come in as a a nice thick inside edge is gonna net us another couple of runs there. As uh, yeah, this is this is the guy I was talking about. Um, that name before. I don't know. I don't know if that's a that's a proper player's. It might well be an actual player's name, but I'm sort of thinking is that maybe f meant to be Philander? But obviously the player name hasn't been changed properly. I I don't know. Maybe that is like an actual South African player. Um, Dala seems familiar. That, that name rings a bell. Um, so maybe he is a proper player. I'm I'm not, I'm not too sure. Obviously Stein's not in this side or or Morkel. Um, I don't know why Stein wouldn't be because whoever made the team, I, I don't know why, or maybe he is in the team, but sort of the game didn't select him is right here. A pretty close shout. The umpire is not going to give it and they're not going to go upstairs. Obviously didn't edge it. Otherwise it would have been out caught behind, but it hits like on the back pad. It must've just been going down leg side, which is uh, fortunate for us as I uh, just getting a little, a little tied up. 
um, the last couple of overs, but uh, that's, a, that's a bad ball. And a good shot, just whipping it off the pads. Short boundary out there. Monica Oval, not, uh, not a big ground, so we can, uh, you know, boundaries are fairly fluent at this ground. It's a big, <laughs> big outside edge, but it's actually the slower ball, so it just goes straight to ground. Very, very fortunate right there as I uh, move on to 41, a chance to get a, uh, a well-worked half century here as I uh, try to drive big down the ground, but again, maybe a bit of a off-pace delivery. It seems like he's bowling a few a few cutters here as uh, again just that one's a bit better just waiting for the ball punching it through nice square drive there's a, there's a big gap there I mean the square drive it's a tough shot to play so that you know leaving a point fielder open is not a bad idea but it's it's a good shot as uh, again that whether well, we probably could have waited a bit and played it through the the point region again but try to go more straight on as that's a that's a powerful sweep shot. Uh, it didn't quite get all of it, but he's going to pick us another couple there. Pushing for three, Marcus Harris, get his skates on, and he is going to just make it. So this partnership is he's getting a little out of hand for the South Africans at the moment. And that's, a, that's a beautiful shot again. We're using that, uh, that flick, that flick off the pads to perfection. I think that's our 50. Is it not 50 off... Uh, 50 or 42, so yeah, uh, you know, our strike rate definitely slowed up these last few overs, but it's a very nice 50. We've hit some beautiful shots and, you know, defended well. I, uh, I'm happy with uh, our sort of patience in this innings. Could be that monster six off the spinner and then, you know, a couple of nice boundaries. But other than that, it's been tight bowling. has been tidy and, you know, playing the ball on its merits. Is, uh, that one is just going to clean us up. <laughs> Mulder here, he just... <laughs> We were late on it. I, I don't know. I saw it. I saw it was up in the slot. I was looking to go for a big booming drive, but I played down the wrong line and it was too quick. I don't know. I, I can't really remember if he was bowling a lot of cutters or not, but it, it sort of caught me off guard with the uh, the pace. It wasn't super quick, 128 Ks, but it's still a bit of an element of surprise right there. So unfortunately, we get out. We got we got our 50, but we got out soon after as we come into the attack. Very early on here, um, you know, you'd probably expect the Pacers to, to bowl a few more overs, but uh, Safkin's off to a a handy start with Markram and uh, Dean Elgar still at the crease. And, uh, you know, we got, we got 330, so it's not, it's not a terrible score. It's probably around par, I guess. You know, anything, you know, 300 in the first innings, it's, it's a good total. And it's a good platform, but depending on the pitch, obviously, as well. Um, but the pitch looks pretty good, so it might be just slightly, slightly lower than what it maybe should have been. As I'm uh, going to come in here and just a nice simple one. As uh, looking looking good in this this bowling attack. He's coming. The uh, the reverse sweep right there. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's a risky shot, but he, he got it away. Um, and yeah, he got it for four runs. So yeah, we come back in here into our six over three for 185. Dean Algar, 106 off 112. He is he's getting his runs at a rate of knots. He's uh yeah, he's batting beautifully, obviously. And uh, we're not picking up too many wickets. So it looks like our a score of just over 300 is looking to be maybe slightly under par here with the way the uh, South Africans are batting, and they do. They obviously have a strong batting lineup. That one I thought almost was a was a, a sneaky chance there um, from uh, from Elgar. Is that one is a, a ripping delivery? It's uh, it's not out unfortunately, but uh, good bowling. You know, causing a little bit of trouble at least. We haven't bowled too many overs, but you know, just just saving us up. Is uh, gonna look at the replay. Haven't been too many highlights with the ball so far, but that is a it's a good ball. It's just missed everything. There's always, there's always those ones that they just somehow miss the edge, miss the stumps, just being all ends up as, uh, again, going for that sort of punching square drive to the uh, to the fielder. So, yeah, we're, we're bowling nicely. We just have to get that breakthrough. That one is just squirted off the, uh, the face of the bat. It's, got, it's hit powerfully for four. As uh, we come back in here, look at this. this I mean, they're not, they're not going great, but Dean Elgar, he's 186. They're three for hundred, uh, seven for three hundred and fifteen. Elgar, one hundred and eighty-six. We actually try around the wicket just for something different. We got a very leg side field, 
men around the bat on the offside and, you know, just, just trying something. I mean, you know, I uh, sort of out of ideas at this point bowling to him. So just, just try anything and to the tail enders, obviously go back to a more traditional type of, uh, of bowling. But, uh, that is going to be the end of the, the innings here. We didn't get any wickets, which is very surprising. We usually pick up a couple, but, you know, bring it back to the field in this one. But that's going to be the first part of this match. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and look forward to the next part in the next video. See you guys then.